<laughs> so I'd like to um, say good morning to all of you that are here. Um, my name is Renata Henry. Um, I am now the uh, executive director of the Danya Institute, which houses the Central East ATTC. Um, that covers the six states uh, that are in Region 3. Um, I have seen familiar faces from when I was here in Maryland as the Deputy Secretary. Uh, and I think I, uh, in, in my travels, I get to run into people that I saw when I was working in Delaware and saw it when I was working in Pennsylvania. So it's good to come full circle. So again, I'd like to welcome all of you on behalf of the Central East ATTC. And as most of you know and you're aware that the ATTCs are funded by the Center for Substance Abuse uh, Treatment out of SAMHSA, and we're charged with providing training and technical assistance uh, to the workforce that delivers services uh, and treatment to the substance abuse or behavioral and behavioral health uh, population. But we want to do that in a way that we ensure that the best sciences and the best practices get infused into the treatment system because we want the evidence and the science to drive our interventions and to drive our services. Our goals at the ATTC are to raise awareness of, awareness of the evidence base and promising treatment and recovery practices. We want to build skills in the workforce uh, to ensure that the workforce is able to deliver those evidence-based services. We want to change practice by ensuring that these new skills are put into practice. It's one thing to come to a conference or come to a symposium and learn about what's new and learn about uh, what is evidence-based. It is a very different thing to put those into practice. And many of you um, probably have um, struggled with that, and many of you have probably championed putting the evidence-based practice into um, evidence-based services and practices into practice at your places of employment. Um, one of our key partnerships, and um, why you're here today, um, and it's an excellent um, partnership and collaboration that we have, is with NIDA and the SAMHSA Clinical Trials Network. Um, so I want to take this opportunity to thank the organizers of this event, not only the ATTC st staff, but also Maxine Stitzer, who is the principal investigator and head of the um, Central East or the Mid-Atlantic uh, node of the clinical trials, and Christine Higgins, who works closely with her. Christine is in the back there. Um, so I'd like to thank uh, them and all of the colleagues. <laughs> and all of their colleagues, and also our partners at the Alcohol and Drug Abuse Administration here in Maryland. I've seen uh, several staff uh, from that agency, so thanks to them as well. So. And I'd also like to recognize the staff that's here from the ATTC. Um, they are around the room video videotaping, and so if the ATTC staff would just kind of raise their hands and thank them as well. Thank you. So we have a special guest with us uh, this morning. Before I get to my closing and introduce uh, uh, Maxine, um, uh, Jean Bennett. Um, Jean is our re SAMHSA Regional Administrator for Region 3. And I tell her she has got to be the best regional administrator in SAMHSA's cadre of regional administrators. Now, that's saying something because we've got 10 uh, HHS regions. So I'd like to, Jean would like to say a few words, so I'd like to bring her up at this point. Uh, Jean Bennett um, is joining us, and she gets around. I tell her she's the busiest lady in America. <laughs> so thanks, Jean. We're both wearing brown pants yes. today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that's all about, but we are. We said, oh, we were in each other's closets this morning. That's right. <laughs> I just wanted to say hello and let everyone know how much I support all the work that's going on that, put, that uh, resulted in this wonderful conference. And my goal today is to shake hands with and give my card to everyone who's here, and, and if you have one, to um, understand who you are and take that information back because what I do more than any other aspect of my job is connect people with each other who can help solve each other's problems. So I look forward to working with you and connecting what I learned here today from you with others in the state and the other states in the region, which are Pennsylvania, Maryland, DC, Delaware, Virginia, and West Virginia. Thank you very much. Thanks, Renata. Thank you, Jean. 
I, I really appreciate um, Jean's support. Um, she uh, has been to every state in the region multiple times and really does understand what is going on in each of the states. And that's really a good thing because that information gets back to SAMHSA. Uh, the states uh, in the region are recognized for the good work and the, and the kinds of um, interesting things that are going on and Jean makes that possible. So just a few more words. Um, all of you are aware of the implementation of the Affordable Care Act, and that's really thrust us into this mainstream of health care and all of the associated 21st century activities and technologies. Um, as someone who I consider myself really behind the technology curve, I'm looking forward to hearing today what's new and what works um, as we uh, use technology to improve outcomes in substance abuse treatment. So again, I would ask you, as you engage in today's activities, and with the faculty and with your colleagues, that you really think about two things. Adoption of the practices that you'll hear about and how you, as the ambassador for this new learning, can go back to your organizations and help implement, and how you're going to implement these new practices that you hear about into your agency, how you will engage your partners um, your administration, um, uh, your counselors, your staff uh, in that process. Uh, in that way, we will ensure, once again, that the evidence can and will be used in practice. So I'd like to thank you all for being here this morning. I want you to truly enjoy the workshop. I think that you will. Uh, I know that when um, the clinical trials node puts on an event, um, I've been to them over the years, they're very, very good. So um, with that, I would like to move on and introduce um, Maxine Stitzer. Dr. Stitzer has long maintained an extensive grant-supported research program focused on both pharmacological and behavioral approaches to the treatment of substance abuse and tobacco dependence. A recognized leader, and that she is, I've known Maxine for many years, well known for her seminal work on contingency management approaches in substance abuse treatment, and many of you have probably been to workshops where that has been presented. Maxine is especially interested in developing interventions that can motivate positive behavior change. She is co-investigator of the John Hopkins University CTN Mid-Atlantic Node, and was the principal investigator on the first national multi-site trial of abstinence incentives effectiveness when implemented in community drug treatment programs. So without uh, me saying one more word, I'd like to bring Maxine to the podium. And thank you, Maxine. Thank you. That was quite a lovely introduction. Thank you. Um, now I've got to remember which buttons to push. So welcome again, uh, welcome from, from me. I'm the PI, a co-PI of the Mid-Atlantic Node, and Robert Schwartz, who's around here somewhere, there he is, hi Robert, is uh, my partner in crime on this wonderful endeavor. Um, we thought of this idea, this Node has been in existence since 1999, and um, we thought of this idea of the annual training conference quite some time ago. This is the 12th year that we've been doing it, and we've had <laughs> a lot of very, very interesting topics. How many of you have been to some of our training conferences before? Oh, looks like we've got sort of a new crowd today. That's good. <laughs> anyway, we've been holding them at, uh, the, at Spring Grove um, at the ADAA near their offices. Um, this time we decided to go a little upscale and, and come here to the Washington, uh, Mount Washington Conference Center, which I think is a lovely facility. But today I think we have an especially exciting program for you, because what we're going to be looking at is the brave new world of technology and how technology is, as we speak, being developed for use in substance abuse treatment as an aid, as a way to amplify and extend the reach of services and to make them more flexible and more individualized. It's an extraordinary time in our field, really, when technology is being harnessed as a way to help um, improve the treatment of substance abuse. 
Um, we've tried to make a mixture today of uh, really innovative things that are not yet ready for prime time and also some actual practical things that are currently available that you could take back and start using in your practice. So you'll see how that works as we go along. Just um, this is uh, the, the structure of our node. Um, myself, Jack, Jack Challey over here is our node manager, node coordinator, and Christine Higgins is our dissemination specialist. Um, just to remind you about the goals of the Clinical Trials Network, we're uh, meant to be bridging the gap between clinicians and researchers who traditionally have been operating in their separate worlds. And we've been doing some valiant efforts uh, to, to bridge that gap over the years. We have three missions, um, establishing research practice partnerships. We've, we've been very good at conducting effectiveness research. We've had over 50 studies now produced in the Clinical Trials Network conducted in community treatment programs to ensure the uh, real-world effectiveness of some of the practices that are being researched. And then our third, uh, the third leg of our stool is the dissemination, which is what we're here about today. Um, again, uh, again, adding my thanks to all the collaborators uh, who have helped to develop this program, the uh, ADAA <laughs> folks, um, especially, um, yeah, the ADAA folks who are listed there. Um, Mental Hygiene Administration and the Central East ATTC, Linda Oney, special thanks to Linda who works directly with Christine uh, to develop these programs. Today's schedule, this is a list of our um, speakers. I'm going to be introducing them. I'm not going to give extensive introductions because you have bio sketches in, in, in your packet, but um, I think that let me just see, this is the last one I'm supposed to show. Yes, we'll talk about the workshops later. This morning we have plenary lectures, this afternoon we have workshops. 